Alright, what's so up my friends? Welcome, complete set review, the colorless section, plus a little more here. So total set review for Mirza Karlov Manor. We got uh, our awards to give out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. White, blue, black, red, green, and multicolor all on YouTube. Go watch those. Make sure you support the channel, please. If you like the content, hit the like button and everything and do all the things you're supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to do. Just do it, all right? So we're doing colorless now. However, there are also three multicolored cards uh, which are not in the set, as in you will not open them in packs. They're not in limited, but they are the pre-release promos. Therefore, they're legal in standard as if you thought Wizards of a Coast couldn't make it any more confusing. So we're going to review those in this section also, uh, because they have to go somewhere, and they... I I just... I don't, I don't even freaking know, folks. All right, so let's get started here. First up is Case of the Shattered Pact. Also a reminder, Bronson Bailey coming up. Tanya Bruce is coming up. Just check stuff out, all right? You're, you're awesome. I love y'all. So... Case Shatter Pack. This is a colorless, our only colorless case. Two mana for a uh, enchantment. ATB search for basic land. To solve this, you have to have five colors among permanents you control, which is a pretty difficult thing to do in a game of limited. Uh, and then if you've solved it, beginning combat in your turn, dark creature you control gains flying, double strike, and vigilance, so end of turn. For the most part, this is just a mana fixer in limited. Two mana, get a land. Uh, solving this is going to be pretty difficult. This is also um, an enchantment for like maybe some stuff, you know, uh, but realistically, really, really difficult to uh, to solve and turn on. And if you are solving it and turning on, I don't think you care that much about the effect, but whatever. Uh, regardless, Mana Fixer Unlimited, uh, reasonable limited card. Constructed, probably not, but is what it is. Up next is Cryptex. Cryptex, two mana artifact, tap, collect evidence three. Add one mana of any color, put an unlock counter on this. And you sacrifice this to surveil three and draw three cards only if it has five or more unlock counters on it. So it's a mana rock that requires you to exile cards from your graveyard. Uh, and then once you've done it five times, you can just draw three and just crank it. It's kind of a cool card, honestly. Uh, mana rock for collect evidence three is kind of tough, although you can play like land cyclers or surveil lands or self mill or something like that too. I think this card's probably a little better than it looks because it looks pretty bad. Honestly, um, that being said, you have to exile 15 mana worth of cards from your deck to eventually get to the uh, the draw three part. That's a little a little tough. That's a lot, you know, but we'll see. I don't know, you know, uh, probably on par with the Iron Crag, but definitely a higher ceiling. Uh, in Limited seems reasonable, but again, in Limited, be careful because there are diminishing returns on these Collect Evidence cards. You cannot play that many of them, kind of like Delve. Gravestone Strider. 2 mana 4, 1, 3. Uh, filters mana, and then can exile from your graveyard, exile a card from your graveyard, and just fine. Just limited limited filler, mana fixer. You know, would prefer not to play this card limited, but if you need a fixer, you can do it. Lumbering Laundry, which is hilarious. 5 mana for a 4, 5. 2 mana, until end of turn, you may look at face down creatures you don't control. And has more 5, or disguise 5. Good limited card. Decent sizing, decent effect. It's fine. Limited filler card. Magnetic Snuffler. That's me today. I'm the, I'm the Snuffler. Have it for a 4 4 when it ETBs, return an equipment card from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to this. And if you sacrifice an artifact, put a counter on this. Pretty cool card, actually, right? Because, like, there are some pretty dumb busted equipments in Magic's history. This will, this will put it into play for free. Uh, so, that being said, though, it does cost 5 mana. So, probably not really a card for constructed, but pretty cute card. Pretty fun art. There are some equipments in the set. Uh, it does play well with the clues with, like, the clue equipments, because you can sacrifice them and get them back or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's a limited filler for the most part. Magnifying Glass. We're going to give this our trap card. Now, not for Constructed, obviously. No one's putting this card in their Constructed deck. Uh, but in Limited, I think this card's pretty bad in Limited. Uh, we've seen it before in multiple sets, but the three-mana, non-mana-fixing mana rock is pretty damn bad. And then we're looking at six mana to draw a card. That is so much mana, you know? In sealed deck, maybe, but in constructed, I think folks are going to put this deck, put this card in their deck a little bit too much. Sorry, limited in their, in their draft decks, and that's going to be an issue. It's super, super slow, super, super clunky. If it added one mana of any color, sure, awesome. I might, I might be in at that point, but uh, overall, yeah, there are many cards in colorless, folks. You got to give the awards somewhere. 
Sanitation automatons next. Two for a two one EDB surveil one. This is your average limited smoother. Uh, if you need two drop limited, play it. That's it. That's what it is. Thinking cap. Ooh boy. We got our bomb in common, folks. As long as you're playing all detectives, I think this card's excellent. One mana for an equipment. Equip detective for one, or anything else for three. Plus one, plus two is a pretty good buff, you know. Um, Plus one plus one is not really good enough. Plus one plus two is is good, honestly. This is a card that you know that's a enough of a buff where now your two two is now a three four, which is pretty sick. Uh, and they're also good on flyers as well. It makes it harder to kill. I think this card is a very solid limited card if you are the detective archetype, which is the blue white archetype. And uh, you know beyond that, doesn't do much. But very solid limited card for that. And again, of course, there only are so many cards. So. Branch of Ittugazi. We got a land here that morphs Shades of Zoetic Cavern from my boomers. Uh, I love this card. It's not very good, but I love it because it's fun. Uh, it is ramp, technically, because you can morph it and then unmorph it. Even extra land to play that playing a land. Uh, it has some mana, which is kind of cool. That being said, this card's not very good. It's just cool. <laughs> it just looks really, really cool card. Escape Tunnel. F's in chat for uh, Evolving Wilds. Aww. You believe they power crept Evolving Wilds? Uh, Evolving Wilds is great in Limited. This card's better. That's all there is to say. Public through flare land EDB tapped. You got to pay one or tap an artifact, uh, or this goes away. Very similar to the I don't know what it's called guild guild packs something or other. Uh, a card that I played in a pro tour actually and constructed and block constructed. Uh, pretty good manifest are limited honestly because realistically if this is your turn two, that's fine. You know it could be worse. But if you're having a clue for this, this is awesome. Uh, really really good. So. Excellent, excellent uh, limited mana fixer. Uh, and then much, much better if you have random artifacts laying around. Scene of the Crime, ETB tapped Clue Land. Taps for a colorless. Tap mana, creature of mana for any color. And tap two to sack. This card's pretty good. You know, any land you can sacrifice for value is awesome. And this does that. Comes again, taps kind of sucks, but cool land. Also an artifact land, which might, which might matter also in some formats. Uh, but yeah, overall, not very exciting. Just cool. And then we come to our Duel Lands, which win the award for Best in Show. All 10 duels, which I freaking love. Thank God we got all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate when there's half a set. And these are great. Uh, these are all uh, Duel Lands with the basic land types. EDB, Surveil 1. Uh, just better Scry Lands. Scry Lands are obviously good in standard. And uh, the land types are pretty big here, and their Surveil is pretty big here, too. Filling your graveyard's awesome. I think these cards are going to be excellent in standard. Uh, even though there are tap lands, they're still very, very good. And they're also actually going to win the Sleeper Award. Uh, we're going to double up here because, frankly, there only are so many cards in Colorless. I think folks are undervaluating how good these are in fetch land formats. I know that they're a tap land, but I think putting one of these in most of your fetch land decks is very reasonable. Uh, you can surveil. Putting cards in graveyard in older formats is pretty great, too. And then just the land types are just really good also. You know, this, these help your buddy lands come in untapped. These help your leyline binding. These help your, they count as forests for your forest effects, whatever it might be. Uh, so I think these cards are really sweet. Um, you know, they're going to be a huge deal in, uh, oops, and constructed. Uh, obviously great and limited. They're also going to show up fairly often in limited. Uh, they're in like their own slot in packs or something. There's going to be like four or five of these per draft, which is kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, love the whole set. Like seeing them there. And, uh, and that's that. So, before we get to our recap of the awards, we have three multicolored cards to do. These are cards that are, you will not see in Limited, except for at the pre-release, and they are not in booster packs. These are only pre-release promos, but they are illegal and standard for some stupid reason. I don't know why. Write a letter to Watsi because everything's so freaking confusing, but whatever. Malik, Refor's Researcher, 5 mana for a Star Star. Power number is equal to twice the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. And the first instant or sorcery spell you cast each turn costs three less to cast. That's actually pretty huge. Uh, because if you have four spells in your business, is it 8-8 eight, eight for five? Damn. Uh, yeah, and then a cost reduction of three. So now you've got your, uh, you know, cast factor fiction for one blue. Kind of cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a card that might see playing standard, honestly. Uh, it's pretty huge. That cost reduction part's not bad either. It's a little clunky, but it is just freaking huge. So, I don't know. It's got an outside shot. Obviously, a commander card. And then again, this is not... 
a card you'll see in limited except for the pre-release bundles, which is very, very weird. So, um, get it? Weird. Anyway, uh, and yes, if, if any of these are good at constructed, these are going to be insanely expensive, by the way, too. So, you can play in the pre-release and nowhere else except for standard and constructed formats. As far as the, the le constructed legality is concerned, these are in the main set, even though they aren't in the main set. Next up is Tomic, Wielder of Law. Probably the best chance to see play here. The meta for a 2-4 Flying of Vigilance. Has Affinity for Planeswalkers, which is a very odd ability when you have one pip in your cost, but whatever. Whenever a creature, uh, whenever an opponent uh, attacks with creatures, if two or more of those attack you and Planeswalkers you control, they lose three and you draw a card. This card is just pretty good. Uh, it's just like a 2-4 Flyer with Vigilance for three. And if your opponent attacks you with more than one creature, you just get a bonus. That's like not bad at all. It's a human as an advisor. This card could definitely have shots to play. Um, not sure exactly what deck wants it, but could see play for sure. It's a legend. Plays well with their Fiend. Says Vigilance. Probably a good sideboard card too against like aggro decks where like they just can't really uh, attack you that aggressively or that you draw cards. I don't know. Definitely a powerful card though. Uh, definitely, you know, and again, this would be an insane draft card, but it's not in draft, so... Moving on to Voja, Jaws of a Conclave, a Naya, 5-5, five, five, Vigilance, Trample, Ward, 3 for 5. It's pretty good stats. Whenever it attacks, put X counters on each creature you control, where X is the number of Elves you control, draw a card for each Wolf you control. Okay. Uh, are there Elves in Standard? I guess. There's some, there's some new Capenna Elves, actually. There's actually a lot of new, nine new competitive elves. Uh, and then obviously it's a wolf, so it counts itself. You can't play these at the pre release? I'm sorry. So you can't play these in anything limited? What the, f what the What's going on? I don't know what's going on, folks. I don't even know what's happening. So this is Tolsimer's buddy, right? Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, Naya elves. There's a few good elf cards in Naya from, um, from uh, New Capenna. And a, a five five vigilance trample ward three isn't that bad. This card could see play in standard. It's got a chance, you know. Um, putting counters on each creature you control, X number else you control is pretty busted too. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, I would say all three of his cards have a shot constructed, which is pretty scary. And uh, we'll see, I guess. So again, these are playable and constructed, but not limited. They're not in the main set. Whatever. Recap: Best in show for colorless is the. Surveil Lands. Also, the Sleeper card uh, is a Surveil Lands. I think that people are underrating them a little bit. Our Trap card is Magnifying Glass, and our Bomb and Common is Thinking Cap. We have one section left, so don't go anywhere. All right, you two folks hit the like button and look for the last video. We have a section on the list. There are 40 cards in the set on the list that are going to be illegal in limited, which is a big deal. All right, and then also some newcomers to uh, Arena for Historic and Timeless, also a big deal. Secret section, don't go nowhere. Hit the like button, support the content, please. I'm powering through for all of y'all. All right, so, and uh, let's go. List coming up next. You folks, like, like, comment, subscribe.